Hi, and welcome to another Majestic.cloud video. My name is Laszlo, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use AWS Lambda layers with AWS SAM. Layers in AWS Lambda are used to pull in additional code, such as external libraries, custom runtimes, or other dependencies needed by your application. This way you can keep your application code small and you can reuse components between different Lambda functions. A Lambda function can use up to 5 layers at a time and the total unzipped size must be no more than 250 megabytes. In this video I will show you how to set up an AWS SUM template to automatically deploy your dependencies as layers. So let's get started. In order to make this video shorter, I already have set up a small AWS SAM project and I will uh, guide you through all the uh, steps I have taken here and you can also find the code uh, of this SAM project um, in a Git repo. I will post the link to this Git repo below uh, the video. So you can uh, browse the code there and see everything uh, that I've done here. So let's uh, see what we have uh, in the code. Um, this is a very simple Lambda function which returns a response and in this response um, uh, we are generating a unique uh, ID, uh, universally unique ID with the help of a node um, package called UUID. So you see here I have the code for requiring this, uh, this dependency and here I'm using it to generate an ID and then uh, in the body uh, we return this unique ID. So this is a dependency and I want to package it as a layer. Let's see how that's done. Um, I have modified the AWS SAM template. So here's the SAM template I'm using. Uh, it has a uh, few resources. It has the resource for the AWS Lambda function uh, with the code in the ID generator uh, directory. Then uh, I have specified a reference to the ID generator layers and this is also defined here as a resource, the layer. And it, this is very important. Uh, you can see here that I have content URI dependencies. So what happens, uh, this layer uh, will search for the dependencies, um, the code of these dependencies in the dependencies folder. And uh, I have set the compatible runtimes to Node.js 12 and the retention policy to retain. But if you look in my um, uh, project structure here, you can't see any dependencies um, uh, directory so we need to create that so I will click here and I will create a new directory called depend dependencies and then inside this I will create another directory called node.js and I have here this package JSON which was generated by um, uh, the SAM uh, tool. I have only added this part here with the dependencies. So here I'm uh, requiring the UUID um, uh, dependency. And um, this package JSON is initially in the um, uh, same uh, folder directory in which your um, uh, app.js, uh, your Lambda function is. But I need to move this. I will move it to the dependencies node.js folder. Okay, I have moved it, it's here. Now I will go ahead and install all the uh, all these dependencies. I will go in the command line and change directory to dependencies node.js and run npm install. And what happens, uh, node.js will install all the dependencies including the UUID um, uh, package and if I look inside the dependencies uh, node.js I see now I have a node modules uh, uh, directory with all the things that UUID 
uh, needs to run uh, quite a lot of uh, dependencies j for just one uh, package to run but that's the way it is so now um, I have all this here and I want to uh, deploy my um, my code so if I go here I can issue I first I need to change directory to the root of this project and then use sam deploy and this will actually deploy my um, um, sam project and also create the layer as a dependency I will click yes and after that if we go to uh, the console um, you can see I have already a, a, a cloud formation stack with a create in progress status this is the ID generator let's go to lambda here soon enough I should have a, a lambda function when this finishes this cloud formation stack let's wait a bit okay create complete let's go back to lambda I do a refresh and you can see I have a lambda function here uh, this it says this function belongs to an application it also has a layer associated its ID generator dependencies let's take a look at it in the layers um, section we find this layer which was created for us by uh, AWS SAM via cloud formation uh, now um, let's go back to the lambda function take a look at it again okay so here is it with the layer and all now uh, let's see the code it's the same code you've seen in the editor and now we should run it and if um, the dependency the layer is loaded correctly I should get uh, in the response a unique ID if it didn't load the layer I should get an error because it cannot use uh, the dependency so I need to create a test event it doesn't matter what I put here we don't use the, the event so if I click on test you can see that execution result succeeded and here in the response of the lambda function I have body unique ID and the unique ID generated by the UUID uh, uh, package so as you can see uh, it's very easy to include um, some uh, dependencies uh, as layers and deploy them from the AWS SAM uh, tool okay so this was the video for today I hope you liked it if you did please click on the like button subscribe to the channel follow me on social media and I hope to see you in a future video have a great day